Hello everyone, it's really good to see you here. So today we are going to solve a GFG problem which is element with left side smaller and right side greater. So we have given an unsorted array of size n and we have to find the first element in the array such that all its left element are smaller and all its right element are greater than that element. So here we have to keep this in mind that the extreme element that is 4 or 7 cannot be considered in our answer because uh, because we cannot say the right or the left for them, right? So in that case, if there is the extreme element, like, or in that case, we cannot find any element in, uh, apart from the extreme animal element, we just return minus one. So this is a very tricky problem actually. So let's suppose you have given this uh, element. So the very first thing which comes to your mind is that let's suppose first found the maximum from the left because th that element should be maximum from the left so okay so if, if we are talking about the element n then this should be the greatest from the left and the smallest from the right right so what we are going to do is we are going to make two arrays first one is going to store the min maximum from the left and second one is going to store the minimum from the right so what it means is that let's suppose we are at here so maximum of 4 would be 4 maximum of 4 and 2 would be 4 maximum of 4 and 5 would be 5 and maximum of 5 and 7 would be 7 right and then if we move here so minimum of 7 and 7 would be 7 minimum of 7 and 5 would be 5 then minimum of 5 and 2 would be 2 and minimum of Okay, so minimum of 5 and 2 would be 2 and minimum of 2 and 4 would be 2, right? So we got this. Now we don't have to consider the extreme element. So we don't have to consider this in our left max and right min array. We have to consider only this element and check if any index, the element are same in both the cases, then that should be our answer. So this is how. So this element is maximum from the left and minimum from the right. That means each element on the left is less than the element 5 and each element on the right is greater than the element 5 that's why we return it as answer so let's dive into the coding part of it so ml going to store the minimum element from the left mr going to store them uh, sorry ml going to store the maximum element from the left and mr going to store the minimum element from the right then max l going to store the maximum element max r, min r is going to store the minimum element from the right so we had run a for loop so ml is going to be at the maximum of ml and ri and then max of li would be uh, maximum from the left and then this mr is going to store the minimum of uh, minimum from the right and the array of so the last element so we are assessing uh, the array from the last then the minimum of r would be n minus i minus 1 and it should be m of r. So this is how we are assessing it from the uh, right direction. So minimum of 7 and 7 would be 7. Minimum of 7 and 5 would be 5 like this. And then what we are going to do is we are going to run the loop from i is equal to 1. We are not considering the... We have to not consider the extreme element. So extreme element would be the index 0 and index n minus 1 element so we are not including that in our for loop and we are checking that if any point of time both the arrays have the uh, element equal if that is the case then return that element else we return minus 1 so let's try to submit this so yeah this is the approach to solve the problem element with left side smaller and right side greater and if you want to assess the code then you can check the github link given in the description and before going anywhere do like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching